see how to make a zoetrope. So let's see the history of it. Zoetrope is an early form of animation technology. In 1834, William George Horner invented zoetrope, a rotating graph lined by a band of pictures that could be changed. He named it as Tidalum. A more definitive version of Tidalum was made by William Lincoln in 1865 and he named it as Zoetrope. It was introduced as an optical toy in 1866 and became very successful. Let's go into the video. To make Zoetrope, we need black chart paper, scale, straw, stick, sketch pen, pencil, marker, glue, cello tape, scissors, thread, measuring tape, white paper, small or big lid of your choice. First, we'll start by making the drum of a zoetrope. You can take any lid or even a cardboard for the base. We need thread or tape to measure the circumference of the base. Now let's measure the circumference of the lid with a thread. Roll the thread around the lid and mark the point and then measure it in the scale. The circumference of this lid is 60 cm. We need to make the drum with black chart paper. To make the measurements visible, I am making it with white paper. I have taken a chart with 60 cm length and 10 cm width. Mark a line in the center to divide the width into two. This 60 cm is the circumference of the lid I have. The circumference will differ according to the lid you choose. As I am going to make 12 sections in the drum, we have to divide 60 by 12 that is equal to 5 cm. Mark a point at every 5 cm. The number of sections in the drum should be equivalent to the number of frames. That is, if you are making 8 frames, then the number of sections in the drum should also be 8. Let's leave some space to stick it together. Now connect the marked points to the middle line. Once you have divided the sections, you have to do small slits which will help you to see the animation that happens. To make slits, mark a point at 2 mm from the marked line. Then join the newly marked point to the middle line. Now let's cut out the slits. Be careful, don't cross the line. After cutting the slits, stick the edges together to form a drum. I have already made a drum with black chart paper. Now let's move on to the frame making section. To make the frame, I have taken a white paper with 60 cm length and 5 cm width. I am going to make 12 frames. So I will be dividing the paper into 12 equal sections. Since my chart is 60 cm and after dividing it by 12, I will get 5 cm for each frame. So draw a line at every 5 cm. It's up to you to choose the number of frames. It can be 8, 9, 10 or even 24. Let's start drawing the pictures. The last picture should be followed by the first picture so that when we spin it, the animation keeps on repeating. Put a small hole in the center of the lid and fix the drum to it with the cello tape. Then fix the stick to the hole and then insert the stick to a piece of straw. Now our drum is ready. Wrap the lines we marked and roll it then place it in the drum and adjust the size. Now our zoetrope is ready. Now let's enjoy the animation by spinning the stick. Zoetrope is a device that creates animation through the illusion of motion from static pictures. The average frame rate for animation is 24 frames per second and minimum is 12. The more frames per second, the better you trick your eyes. Zoetrope depends on the fact that the human retina 
retains an image for about 1 by 16th of a second. So that if a new image appears in that time, the sequence was seen to be uninterrupted and continuous. Hope you all like this video. Please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for new updates.